Well, as Donna mentioned, the storm brought down trees and power lines, which meant power outages. At last check, BGE is reporting about 5,500 customers still in the dark tonight. Wow. And then there was flash flooding, which made the evening commute treacherous. 11 News reporter Kai Reed continues our team coverage tonight. She's in Midtown Baltimore with that part of the story. Kai. Yeah, Donna, we've had a few sprinkles out here over the past hour or so, but nothing like it was during that afternoon rush hour. That was a mess. They had downed trees, lots of rain, power outages, flooded roads, and actually they said that there is more than two inches of rain fell in less than an hour in some places. The thunder sounded like explosions as the storm bared down just at the tail end of the evening rush hour. This is video of Falls Way in Midtown in Baltimore City, where crews went through a quick rising flash flood. Same situation in Bel Air, where water flooded Route 1 and drivers still tried to make it through. There wasn't a lot of damage reported, mostly downed trees and wires in Baltimore and Harford counties, but the stormy weather caused plenty of outages and traffic problems. Officers were called out to direct cars through the intersection at Charles Street and Towson Town Boulevard after the storm knocked out power there. BGE officials say the crews were already coming off of a long night and day of responding to thousands of outages when the second round hit Monday, and they know that there could still be a round three. We're also preparing for a storm tomorrow as well. So with several back-to-back -back storms, there are some challenges for our distribution system with a saturated ground from several days of rain and high winds like they're predicting for tonight and tomorrow. You will see whole trees and tree limbs come down onto power lines, and that will be what our outages are from. It looked like it could have been a lightning strike that split the trunk of this huge tree near Washington Avenue and Towson Town Boulevard, but police told us that it was most likely the strong winds from Sunday night. After Monday's storm, BGE was reporting about 10,000 customers without power, mostly in Baltimore County. You will see those crews out throughout the night tonight. We did increase the number of crews in the field today, and you will see an increased number of crews throughout the next couple days as we see these storms move through. And now we do have some updated numbers from BGE. Officials are reporting that uh, power to 13,000 customers has been restored. 4,500 customers are still without power. They say the crews will be out all night, and they're hoping to have everyone back on the grid by noon tomorrow. Reporting live in Midtown, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right.